hello viewers welcome to this new video of special site in this video i'm going to show you how you can uh, obtain slope from raster dim in qgis so for this process first i'm going to load uh, my dim data my dim is dim cre so after loading the dim data we're directly going to go for slope so the first step here is to go to processing toolbox in case you don't have this pro uh, this processing toolbox you can right click here you can right click this white space here then in processing toolbox it is here and tick this mark you are going to get this okay then if you are here then in source menu you search for slope your cell of the slope and okay Search for slope here, then under general and raster analysis, you are going to get the slope. Okay, then double left click this. After then this, uh, this kind of screen you are going to get. In this parameter settings, we need to adjust few parameters. In input layer, I am going to input the team CRE because it is the team data from which I want to get the slope. So other things here you need to know what is suppose here is one option slope expressed as percent instead of degrees by default if you want to untick this your output slope output will be in degree but if you tick this then the slope output will come in percent so i'm going to keep it as by default that means the output of slope will be in degree then other things here you need to adjust is uh, uh, you need to save it you go here set to file okay i'm going to give here output let's say it's slope then finally uh, hit run so i have got my slope here and one thing you need to note here is the range that here it varies so the slope varies from zero degree to 13.5 degree here but this is not the actual data i want when you are doing this kind of analysis you generally generate a range from like 0 to 5 degree 5 to 10 degree 10 to 50, 20 degree and greater than 20 degree because while you are doing some multi criteria multi criteria decision analysis then you need the slope range value and you are going to give them ranking accordingly so we are going to reclassify this slope for reclassification again you go here in processing toolbox search reclassify you need to search for reclassify by table under raster analysis you are going to see reclassify by table double left click this option then you are going to get this menu so again we need to adjust the parameter settings in raster layer we are going to select the raster because it is that layer whose classification we are going to whose reclassification we are going to do okay then we need to go to reclassification table click this three dot icons here this reclassification table means the range that we are going to keep here now we are going to then click on this add row menu since I want four range so i'm going to click it okay i got the four options how much range you want accordingly you click here so minimum value that i want here is from zero to five degree and i will say it value is zero then i want five to ten degree i will say value it one similarly ten to twenty degree i will say two then 22 finalist till 90 degree i'm going to say it three okay we are done with the table now i'm going to click this okay option so once you you can note here now four rows there are four rows and three columns in a table four four into three it has one here so other option we are going to keep it by default one thing you need to note here is this range boundaries here the range boundaries the value means 
that that value you have entered here is smaller than minimum and is equal to maximum that means my range that i have given is 0 to 5 degree that means 5 is also included there similarly 5 to 10 and that second range 5 is not included and from 6 7 8 and 9 until 10 and likewise this process goes on according to your analysis you need to say you need to choose this kind of range so for here i am going to keep it as default now we are going to save this reclassified raster I click this three dot icons then go to save and again i'm going to keep this in output i will say it reclassify slope okay now i'm going to save once everything is done click on run okay now you will see something here now we can see this reclassified slope here but the values are from 0 to 2 but we enter 0 1 2 and 3 you may be wondering that where is that 3 here it should have come in 0 to 3 but the thing here is i have done reclassification from 0 to 5 5 to 10 10 to 20 and greater than 20 but your slope data is from 0 to 13 degree it means the data you have used here its maximum value is only 13 degree you can't get more than that if even you do reclassification so i got this 0 to 2 means 0 means here 0 to 5 degree then 1 means again 5 to 10 degree and 2 means 10 to 20 degree so there is no there is the maximum range is here till 13 degree and you are not going to get further more than that that means i i won't get that range 20 to 90 degree because that the 20 to 90 degree range is not in your this slope value slope angle so hope you guys are understanding till here and again what you need to make sure here is okay after reclassification is done here and double left click this you need to go to symbology and in this uh, render type change this single band gray to plated unique values okay only once you do this then click on this classify so here you have got this three option 0 1 to 3 that means the value you are going to get is 0 1 to 3 0 to 5 5 to 10 and 10 to 20 okay i will do this apply you can see here even if you one thing you note here okay this is the slope that we wanted this zero represents zero to five degree that means slopey this area is not that slopey it's like a flat terrain and this one represents uh five to ten yeah this red portion is few area and this uh, 10 to 20 degree which we have kept here it's this it's this uh, blue portion here it's very rare okay this was the analysis that uh, we are looking for even if you try here and again add one option okay let's say it uh, 3 0 1 2 3 as we had done as we had given input in that option and you click here apply you you are not going to see this blue kind of reason here because the elevation the slope has range that maximum value is still 13 degree so there is you there is no kind there is no any kind of this this uh, water type blue color so better to keep this it as it is and click apply and click ok and later on you can go here and you can give here level say it 0 to 5 5 to 10 and 10 to 20 okay click on apply okay and in the in your legend you are going to now you are going to see this kind of values so thank you viewers for watching